Uh, we're going to configure our router as a DHCP server. So first thing you need to do is make sure you get your config restored from last week on your router and your switch and that you have connectivity. So what you should do is once you get it to where you think is working, you should go ahead and set a static IP on your Windows machine and then ping your router interfaces to make sure that it's working because if that's not working, the chances of you getting DHCP to work are pretty slim because if that's not working, then you probably don't have your uh, stuff set up right. So once you're verified everything is up and working, uh, we're going to go ahead and configure the router as a DHCP server. So basically, you get into the router. I guess I'll go ahead and do show run to show you what I restored. Basically, what we had last week was we had our, our interfaces configured. You got a public IP with a static interface uh, connected to the rich net. You had your internal interface configured for inner VLAN routing uh, for uh, VLAN 2 and VLAN 3. And then we created uh, some NATs. We have uh, an inbound NAT and we have our outbound dynamic overload NAT. Uh, so you need to make sure you get all that stuff back in there. So once we get that done, we're going to want to set up our router for a DHCP server. So we need to configure mode. And the command we're going to do for that is IP DHCP pool. And then it says, uh, Pool name, it says word, you can name your pool whatever you want, but it's probably better if you name it something that makes sense. I'm going to name mine VLAN2 pool. And it puts you into the pool configuration. Put a question mark, you can see what options you have. We need to configure a network. So we'll do network, and we'll do 10.1.1.0. .1 and I think it wants a subnet mask to go along with that. And we need to use the proper subnet mask to go along with the size of our network. So we're using slash 25s. So that's the proper subnet mask for that. Uh, we need to configure the default router. Uh, that will be the router interface for that VLAN. So in this case, it's 10.1.1.1. And we're going to configure a DNS server. So for now, we're going to configure it to be my DNS server. That's at 100.100.100.2. So that's the configuration for... Uh, the DACP pool. Uh, if you mess this up and you need to go back in there and fix it, you need to put no in front of or whatever you did to get rid of the old one and then put a new one in. Uh, because in some cases, if you put it in, in the command again, it doesn't actually override it. it. It appends it to what you already had. So you need to get rid of the old one before you put the new one in. So once we do that, we now have a DACP server. One other thing we'll configure just for fun, not necessarily required today, but say, for example, you wanted to leave a portion of your... Uh, network uh, not assigned through DHCP, you can exclude some addresses. So you can use the command IP DHCP excluded, excluded addresses. So say for example, if I did not want to give out the addresses 10.1.1.2 uh, .1 through 10.1.1.10, this command will cause it to not give those addresses out. So it, it will probably start at like 11 when it gives out the addresses. Uh, so we have it set up for DHCP, so now the only thing left is to go to our host and configure it for DACP and hope for the best. And there we go. I just got a IP of 10.1.1.11 on the right uh, on the right network with the right gateway, the right subnet mask, and the right DNS server. So uh, let's go ahead and make sure we can ping. Let's do IP config to, to verify that. IP config, I guess you can't see what I'm typing. So there we go, and now it worked before, so it should still work. So that that's uh, that's it for configuring DHCP on the Cisco router. Pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, one other thing I guess I'll mention, if you wanted to configure more than one uh, pool, then you could go ahead and configure another pool. So we're not doing that in the lab, but if you if you wanted to, you could be like, uh, IP DACP pool, I think you call it like the uh, VLAN 3 pool, VLAN 3 pool, and go through the same steps to configure uh, DACP for any other number of VLANs you want to use uh, for DACP on your router. But that's it for the uh, Cisco router DACP part that we'll be doing this week.